Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given two blue squares and it wants to know what is the area of the red triangle. And I'm noticing something, it's not giving us anything about the distance between the two squares. So it could realistically be any one of these scenarios. So I'm guessing every single one of these red triangles have the exact same area. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. So first let's look at the formula for the area of a triangle. Area equals one half base times height. Looking at this triangle, we don't know the base, so let's call it x. And then for the height of this triangle, we need something at right angles. This right here would be at right angles, because this is a square, so this is also at right angles. This right here will be the height of our triangle. We don't know that either, so let's call it y. So now let's update this formula. The base of our triangle is x, so let's call this x. And the height of our triangle is y, so let's call this y. So this is what we're trying to figure out. So next let's use the areas of the blue squares. If this one has an area of 16, each side will be equal to four. And if this one has an area of 36, each side will be equal to six. And then from here, just like this was a right angle right here, this one would also be a right angle. And then if we look at this angle right here, let's call it theta. This angle will also be theta because these are vertical angles and vertical angles are always congruent. So let's take this whole thing and copy it down here. And I wanna focus on these white triangles. Let's line them up like this. These are similar right triangles. We know that because they have two pairs of congruent angles. So that means we can set up a proportion. We can say the base of this triangle four over the base of this triangle x is equal to the height of this triangle y divided by the height of this triangle six. And from here we can cross multiply. x times y is equal to xy. And on the other side, four times six is equal to 24. And now we have x times y. That's all we really needed up here. So we can scoot this up here, and in the place of x, y, let's plug in 24. 1 half times 24 is equal to 12, and let's give it a label of meters squared. This is the answer to our question. The area of the red triangle is 12 meters squared, and that'll be true for all of these red triangles. They all have an area of 12 meters squared. How exciting.